All right, everybody, I'm, I'm out on the road today working. Uh, this video is not necessarily in complete relation to my last couple. It, it, it is, but it's more of a video made to alert everybody of the signs. Pay attention. China has now recalled all of their currency, cash and coin currency, claiming that the virus is being spread through the currency. So they've recalled it now, saying that it needs to be destroyed or at minimum cleaned. And this goes back to relations, uh, revelations, a cashless society, you'll only be able to buy if you have the mark of the beast. Look it up in your media outlet. Fact check me. They recalled all their cash. And now going back to uh, another thing that's being reported now is that 14% of those who had been thought to have been cured or had recovered from this virus, 14% of those have now shown to have been reinfected or have relapsed they have actually relapsed back into the virus the plague and think about what who remember i showed you who who was the serpent and i showed you what medicine the symbol of medicine and pharmacy the serpent so they swooped in there really fast to take take control of what was going on to make sure uh, all its workings were done as so. But again, I tell you, even the serpent couldn't stop the wrath of God. If you're meant to get this virus, if you're not in the Word, you're going to get it. And you're not going to be cured. Just like the SARS, the first woe to Babylon. They've shown that the SARS virus, even though the, the major effects of it eventually go away, that it still affects your body, even after uh, the major side effects have gone, that it affects your muscular and skeletal systems. So it never actually goes away. And this one already... 14% of those who had it and were thought to have gotten rid of it have now got it again. They've relapsed. Now think about what WHO, when WHO, World Health Organization, came in, what they decided to try to do to alleviate the problems of everybody getting it since they didn't have an antibiotic. They were taking the poisoned blood of those that had already been infected, the plasma, and giving it to those who were currently infected. So you're just giving poison blood to poison blood. Now this is whose answer, the serpent, to a cure. You just take and wrap your mind around that. How do you cure poison blood with poison blood? Their claim is that the blood of the ones that had already had it would have natural antibiotics built up and immunity. But we see that's not happening. We see that's being proven wrong because those are uh, already 14% have relapsed. So, y'all do your research on this, people. Fact check me. Open your eyes. God gave you eyes to see and ears to hear. Pay attention to what's going on around you. I'm going to close this video and uh, I'll make another one in probably a couple of days. God bless y'all.